Next, we show the API SG plate. And then we make sure this filter object is selected. And after that, we go to solid cut. And we select this guy pillar, middle mouse button. And we change to filter face, select the face. <clears throat> and then click apply. Okay, now uh, we select this middle mouse button and select the guide pillar select apply and we hide this API SG plate and we select the slider middle mouse button and select the guide pillar select apply after that we show the cavity and we select the cavity, middle mouse button, select the guide pillar, and then select OK. After that, we hide the cavity. OK, next we activate the core, and we go to the, select the composite curve, and select this. Okay, after that, um, we select solid, remove extrude, select OK, and then we activate this, um, we select the composite curve, After that, we go to solid, uh, remove extrude, and this we select true options. After that, click OK. So this is the result, and then we activate the cavity, and we hide the movable side. Um, show only the slide core mechanism and then um, we select the composite curve ok and we go to solid remove extrude Select OK and then we <coughs> show the this API SG plate and then uh, we go to solid cut and we select this middle mouse button. And we select this face. OK. And we activate uh, this. And uh, we activate this. OK. And after that, um, we hide this one. <coughs> this API SG plate and cavity after that we go to solid round select this for each middle mouse button the radius is 0 0.5 after that click OK Now we show the cavity and the API SG plate. And after that, we go to solid cut and we select this 
middle mouse button and we select the slider and then click OK after that we hide the slide uh, call and next uh, we select the filter face <coughs> and uh, we active uh, select this face right click activate component and uh, we go to solid remove and extend we select uh, select this face and then select ok after that, we go to solid, uh, extend object, select this face, middle mouse button. Uh, this we select offset faces options, and the global offset is one, and then the arrow is pointing there. After that, click OK. Okay, next we select the sketcher and then we select this uh, face as the plane. After that, we select add geometry. We add at this edge, this edge and also this edge. After that, we rotate it and change it to wireframe mode. And we select this edge. Okay. And then we use this uh, corner options. This select corner option. Make sure the trim on. After that, select this edge and click at the middle here. Okay, repeat it. And this also same. Okay. And then we exit the sketcher. After that, uh, we go to Solid, Remove Extrude. So uh, in Simatra E10, we can select by Delta or by Reference. So now I use by Reference. And for example, now my offset is, for example, here is 0.1. Okay, now I set the offset is 0.1. And, and then I select the face. Mm. This bottom face, scroll it and I ah, okay, and then click OK. After that, uh, I maybe I hide the slide core mechanism so you can see here. So this is uh, lower than this. So what we need to do is uh, edit this, remove, uh, remove extrude, edit it, and the offset we change to zero. Okay. So the problem is settled. Yeah. Next, we show the slide core mechanism, and after that, we change it to wireframe mode. Okay, and then we select the composite curve, we select this. After that, click OK. 
and then we go to solid remove extrude okay this uh, is by reference options and we select um, this face as the bottom face uh, as the reference face and after that click OK and now we change it to 50% uh, transparent and we activate the movable side and we hide the AP ISG plate and the cavity after that uh, we select solid cut we select this one middle mouse button and we select this click OK Okay, after that, um, we activate this, right click, activate component, so we activate the deep, uh, BPSG plate, and then uh, we go to top view, we select the sketch, select this, and then we add reference, we add at this line, and this line okay after that um, draw a rectangle size something like this and then um, we select the symmetry And then we give it dimensions and from here to here is 11 and this is 5 and the length here is about 25 select acid sketcher so this is the result And then we select the solid, remove extrude. And this is by delta. Delta is 8. And then um, select OK. After that, we go to solid, round, and we select this edge and also this edge, middle mouse button, and the radius is 0.5, um, we changed it to 5, okay, so this is the result.